Kingdom. Focus. Hey, Kingdom Fellowship, Reverend Russ. And Reverend Erica. And back again with another set of Bible lessons. Uh, super excited to be back here uh, walking through uh, the book of Luke. Not the whole book. We're still walking through the parables. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at Luke chapter 18 uh, and starting at verse 9. And it says, uh, To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like the people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all that I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance he would not even look up, look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Uh, you really don't have to explain this scripture. You see yeah. what Jesus is talking about. He's saying that when you think you're all that, you really aren't. And when you know you, all, you aren't all that is when you really are justified in the eyes of God. The question that I'll ask for you to think about today, think about this week, think about uh, as you continue to sojourn through us talking about serving and talking about important ways to serve is how do you view yourself? Do you know uh, that you are uh, actually, the question is, is how do you view yourself? And then I'm going to ask you the question. Hopefully, you know that you aren't as good as your position is right now, that God treats us better than we are and that we ought to humble ourselves and know that if it had not been for God, we wouldn't be where we are right now. But really think about it and really question for yourself, uh, uh, how do you see yourself? How uh, do you see what God is doing in you? And are you uh, this uh, Pharisee or are you this tax collector? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only thing I'd add is, again, that it says, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled. <laughs> but all who humble themselves will be exalted. When we take the position of a servant, when we take the position of one who is learning, who is growing, who is understanding, we are in a powerful positional place because God can use us all the more from that position, more than if we are high and mighty or think we are at least. <laughs> Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you now for this time and this moment. We thank you, God, for the reminder of mm -hmm. how you've called us to be humble, God, how you've created us to be humble, God, how we know, God, that if it had not been for you, God, we wouldn't even have the position that we have now. So God, allow us not to take it for granted, mm -hmm. allow us not to expect it, God, but allow us uh, to humble ourselves consistently before you. Pray now, God, for our brother, our sister, God, this your son and your daughter, God, who are watching, God, maybe even uh, sharing this, God, with others, God, that you will continue uh, to have them ask the question, God, to have them answer the question as well. God, how do they see themselves, God, knowing that we should see ourselves, Lord God, in a place of servitude toward you. God, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notify button so that you are abreast of all the lessons as they are made available here at the space that you found us. We hope that you'll continue to grow with us as we all seek to remain kingdom. Focus. God bless.